There are different explanations for evolution. Now, I'm going to put an NB here. NB means nota bene. It means that if I was putting money on questions that will come up in the exam, or if I was asked, if I had set your paper, which I didn't, and I had no part in it, and I haven't seen it, I promise, promise. But I'm a teacher, and if I could guess what was in the paper, it would be Lamarck's theory, it would be punctuated equilibrium, and natural selection. You have to know what they are. So the question that I picked out was the learners that are battling with Lamarck. So I put in, describe two laws used by Lamarck to explain evolution. Now, before I even start writing, okay, Lamarck said there's use and disuse. So literally, use it or lose it, which is nonsense. doesn't happen that way. And his second law was the law of inheritance of acquired characteristics. So he used the giraffe as an example. So the giraffe stretched its neck. So its neck got longer, so it passed those genes on to the offspring. People, use your common sense. How can you think about Arnold Schwarzenegger? Okay, you all know Arnie the Terminator. Okay, we've all seen the Terminator movies, all right? He is her huge. He used to be Mr. Universe. Okay, he put a lot of work into that body of his. And I suppose a couple of anabolic steroids, but we won't go there. But he is massive. Now, do you really want to tell me that Arnold Schwarzenegger's babies come out and they look like he does? No! If his babies wanted to look like him, they would have to work hard to develop those muscles in a gym. Okay, stretching your neck isn't going to pass any genes on to the next generation. Do you understand? So, that was Lamarck. And that's why they kicked his, his, his um, laws out of the park. So, let's write them. You have to know them. You must learn them. What I'm going to write now, you must learn. I need my glasses. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've got the law of use and disuse. Okay, now the law of use and disuse literally says body parts. Okay, or characteristics used more, okay, um, will become developed. Those not used will disappear. Okay, now think about this. A lot of you don't use your brains. According to Lamarck, if you don't use your brain, it's going to disappear. I mean, does that make sense? No, it's nonsense. But remember, these guys didn't have Google and, and well, whatever search engines you use. They didn't have all the cell phones and, and, and pictures and stuff we have. They didn't have the computers and the, uh, um, the, the, the microscopes and stuff we have. So <laughs> this guy came up with this, use it, lose it. So it is literally use it and it will become more developed. If you don't, you lose it, it disappears. Okay, nonsense, nonsense, but lose it, use it. Okay, then the law of inheritance of acquired characteristics. Now, what are acquired characteristics? They're things that, you, that become part of you. You acquire them. Okay, it's not like skills like driving skills, which after my trip here today, a lot of people don't have driving skills, but you, it, it's acquired. So the law of inheritance of acquired characteristics. So if this giraffe stretched its neck, its neck got longer, and it then passed those genes on to its next generation. What genes? Its genes didn't change. It's nonsense. Okay, so the law of, uh, of acquired characteristics, this says when body parts... are used more, okay, then they will become more developed. So it combines the top one 
and then be passed to the next generation. I don't know how, but yeah, he, he figured that you, you use it, you acquire it, it becomes part of you, and then you just pass it on to the next generation. Um, this is absolute nonsense because we know that in order for you to have to physically change or any organism to change physically, except us women when we, when we colour our hair and whatever, but your own physical features, you can't change them. I can't grow longer arms or shorter arms or taller or shorter or bigger feet or smaller feet. Okay, you can't. And he's saying, yeah, but you can. And then you can just pass it on to your next generation. No. It has to be in your genes, and if it's in your genes, you can then pass that characteristic to the next generation. That will show a physical change in the phenotype. But doing gym, you're not going to have muscles that are passed on to the next generation. All right, so we then have described punctuated equilibrium. Now, punctuated means an area that nothing really happens. At least quick, something happens. So something happens here. Equilibrium is like a... So nothing happens here, something happens there. And that's literally what it is. So punctuated equilibrium explains the speed that evolution takes place. Okay. Literally. So, we have periods um, where, okay, let me, on the little, let me start again. We have long periods where there is little or no change, okay, in a species. Okay, there's little or no change, and that is called the equilibrium. Okay, everyone's happy. All right, then this alternates with periods um, periods that are short and have rapid or quick changes that take mm, place. Okay, so you've got these long periods where nothing happens, that's the equilibrium, and that alternates with periods of short periods, they're short, with rapid, quick changes. All right, and that is supported by the lack of your, um, uh, your, your intermediate or transitional species. All right, that is the problem there. And then the last thing, which we, uh, we have to go to ad break, but I'm going to tell you, last week I did the, the table between natural selection and artificial selection. Remember with natural selection, it is the environment, is the, select, the, the selection fact. The uh, uh, force is the selection force. The suitability to survive is what then it, it's the animal survives so it, it, to the environment. It's suitable. It can then pass those genes on to the next generation. And it happens within one species. Whereas artificial selection, we humans are the selection force. The, the, it is the, the selection is in a response to us and our needs, to satisfy our needs and it can be in more than one species, all right? So they use more than one species.